What is up everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Rocket Vlogs. My name is Brayden and today we are going to dive into a little bit of history on the two Wildman Dark Star models we just flew at the Tripoli Idaho three day launch. One is a four inch somewhat extreme Dark Star called Bald Mom's Rock that flew on a Cosden M2240. And the next is our six inch ultimate dark star dubbed 1433 that flew on an Aerotech M1550 Redline. So Bald Mom's Rock, that's something we get asked about quite a bit when we have the rocket out and about the gold ribbons on the side and everything. And it is a long term project that has been involved in my family for a very, very long time. And it stems with me being a kid with very little money trying to pursue flying rockets and a kid with a very young cousin who had cancer. So we wanted to build a rocket to benefit the St. Baldrick's Foundation, which is a, a foundation that raises money for research and awareness for childhood cancer. And like I said, we didn't really have the money for this kind of project. It was also trying to find a way, being the ever entrepreneurial kid that I was at the time, to get a big rocket and my dad be able to get his level two certification with it and level three, which we'll dig into here in a second. And also, uh, you know, benefit this charity that we were uh, pretty focused on at the time. Fortunately, my cousin is still with us. Um, he made it through his battle. No, it's not the cousin you see on this channel, just to clarify that. But uh, anyway, I posted the idea as a probably 12 or 13 year old on the rocketry forum and a very generous guy named Pat Easter bought the rocket and had it sent to us. I don't know if Pat is still flying rockets, but if you are and you're watching this, Pat, thank you so much. This rocket is still happily flying to this day. And it was originally a four inch dark star with eighth inch fins and a 54 millimeter mount, but I wanted it to be 75 because our late friend Justin, who happened to be a Cosden vendor, had a hookup for us on a three grain 75 L. I believe it's the L640 slow. I can't remember. It's an old Cosden motor. And um, so we decided we were going to put a cardboard 75 mount in the thing and fiberglass the fins tip to tip. And the the great wild man Tim Lair sent me a message and said, if this is what you're planning on doing, don't build anything yet, call me. So I called him and he said, send that back. I'm gonna send you an extreme fin can so that you guys can do this properly if you're going to do it this way. So I was a kid that asked for a lot of free stuff and handouts and stuff. And uh, fortunately people were very patient with me and I frequently apologize to all the people in this rocketry community that I used to bug as a child endlessly. But I am very grateful for all of you people and uh, for the fact that you still let me hang around. At any rate, the rocket was built for my dad's level two. He flew his level two on a three grain 75 L motor in a four inch rocket after never having flown anything bigger than a three grain 29 millimeter H. Yes, I'm serious. Not the best call, but it all worked out pretty well in the end. And at the time, the Tripoli rules allowed you to use a rocket that had already been built for your level three so long as the TAPS had a chance to inspect it and you had some form of documentation to it to it being built. And hey, we did. We took a bunch of pictures. We did a bunch of videos. This has been what I've done my entire life, even predating high power rocketry and cars and everything else. There was always some way or another a camera in my hand to make a video or take pictures of something. So perfectly well documented. And in 2012, when we were living in Texas for my birthday, we went to Argonia, Kansas for Airfest. It was my first ever trip to Airfest in Argonia. Still my dad's only trip until this year yes he's coming i'm going to make sure of it and there was an incident with the months leading up to getting the cosden m2240 that he was supposed to use for his level three where it didn't get shipped and the vendor who didn't ship it was like no problem i'll ship it to chris short's hotel and we'll get it situated for you we find chris short on the field liners there motors not propellants at his house in alabama propellant got forwarded to us and that motor has been sitting since 2012 until 2023 where we just finally flew it it was an amazing flight um it weather cocked a little bit taking off but i really really miss there's just something maybe it's all a placebo thing but the sound of a fast burning rocket motor pushing through a, a solid graphite nozzle it just 
makes this eerie screech and the rocket took off so unbelievably fast which shouldn't surprise me it's a five grain m and a four inch rocket but uh anyway yeah so we waited over a decade for that flight and just to run it back one more time here it is Now, in the midst of all of this Bald Mom's Rock stuff, there was a defining moment in my life that to this day has brought me to wear Dockers pants pretty much all day, every day. On Facebook in I believe 2011, because it was right before we moved to Texas, Dockers posted a series of summer contests called the Man Grants. It was a program where you wrote in your response to their call to action and if you were lucky enough they picked you and you won $2,000 to go execute what it was that your man grant promise was to be. And one of the themes was grab your kid and go do something. So is there a statue of limitations on forgery? From the perspective of my father, I wrote to Dockers saying that we were going to build this six inch wild man ultimate dark star if we won the man grant. And of course, coming from the outside perspective, if you don't know high power rocketry, of course it is a big rocket, but hearing six inch diameter rocket that's 12 feet tall to go 10,000 feet, it's kind of a next level thing if you've never stepped foot into high power rocketry even slightly. So we won. Dockers, the jeans company, gave us $2,000 to send to Tim the Wildman Lair for an ultimate dark star, Cert 3 XL, which wound up being not only the main for this rocket, but the drogue parachute for the first flight of the 12 inch Punisher, the main parachute for the Honest John. That parachute has been in my family now for 10 years and has been flown multiple times, great successes. It was the main parachute on my Iris as well. It was an okay success, the fin broke off, probably needed a bigger one, but it did it. Anyway, we built the rocket and the reason it says 1433 on the side is an Oregon rocketry member who has since passed away. His name is Bill Earls. He was a base jumper. 1433 was his base number and he was one of those people that was very supportive of me being an annoying kid and always making all these plans for projects and promises and things that were never really going to happen because I had no skill or money to back up any of these claims. But he was one of the people along with a handful of others that uh, didn't ever tell me no. Instead, they said, maybe not that, but let's give this a shot. Or sure, you can probably do that, but we need to do this to work up to it, and this and that. Letting me down easy while continuing to support my endeavors into the hobby that would eventually lead to a successful career in engineering. Except for I dropped out. But we don't need to talk about that. Now I have a successful career in journalism and a pretty cool set of followers on YouTube watching me rant and rave about rocket stuff for some reason. So with that out of the way, that rocket also sat for over a decade and we finally got a chance to fly it. Aerotech M1550 Redline, beautiful huge red flame and it went just a little over 5,000 feet and I'm going to roll that video as well. Yeah. 
is Braden and Brian Carlson's ultimate dark star. This is a six inch dark star, 12 feet tall, weighing in at 45 pounds. This is going up on an M1550 red line. We're going to go off of the far pads in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> there you go ladies and gentlemen the two wild man dark stars that were not really paid for by me or my family that belong to me and my father and finally got to fly after a decade one had flown several times before but we finally got to fly the m motor it was destined to fly on in 2012 and everything went flawlessly on both counts so i could not be happier with that result and in the spirit of Bald Mom's Rock, I'm going to put a link in the description to the St. Baldrick's Foundation. If you feel like contributing money to a charity, why not this one? It's a very awesome one. The ribbons on the side, I believe, is seven. It's representative of the amount of children who die from cancer every day. And you get to contribute as much or as little as you want to helping put an end to that. Thank you all so much for tuning in to another Rocket Vlogs video. I especially want to thank my Patreon supporters whose names are rolling across the screen right now. If you want behind the scenes looks at what projects I've got going on, early releases and videos and special content, check it out at patreon.com slash rocket vlogs. You guys are very much appreciated right now because my camera uh, just decided that the mic jack that I use every time I touch it doesn't work anymore. And if you're a Patreon member, you know what just happened at my job. Unfortunately, 11 people were laid off from my company. I was not one of them, but my position that I had before was dissolved. So I did take a little bit of a pay cut. So probably not going to be able to keep flying 5M motors a year, but... You guys just watching the video, pressing likes, and especially all of my amazing supporters on Patreon are continuing to make these things possible. And if we keep growing the way we are, I don't see us having any issues with some more awesome rocket projects. Whether or not they're powered by M motors, we're still gonna have some fun. To round this all up, don't forget to press the like button, leave a comment. It's a lot more helpful for the YouTube algorithm than you think it is. We waited over a decade to fly these two Dark Star flights and it went perfect. My name is Braden Carlson, you just watched a Rocket Vlogs video, and I will see you next time.